Okay, I'm here at 3801 Carnegie in Oceanside. Uh, 1900 something square feet, four bedrooms, two and a half bath. Um, this is kind of my top pick for um, what's on the market right now. I'm gonna see a couple, show you a couple. And I'm not sure if you've seen my videos before, so this will give you, this might be the longest one of the day. But I'll get, kind of give you a, um, a bird's eye view of how I do these videos and, and uh, you know, what we're looking at. So this is in a place called Miracosta Estates in Oceanside. Good neighborhood. No HOA fees. I like it. I'm just giving you the kind of panoramic view down the street where the access where I came in. Uh, there's houses over here. There's a part of this development is over on the other side of these houses. Part of this development is on the other side of the house we're looking at for you. Um, and it's just a quiet, uh, nice neighborhood. All right. First thing you'll notice is um, three car garage. So that always counts for something. The laundry is in the garage. Um, on a house under 2,000 square foot, and a lot of times it's in the garage. More often than not, on a house more than 2,000 square foot. A lot of times it's a separate laundry room. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the good, the bad, the ugly with this. Uh, the uh, roof is a concrete tile, um, which is uh, it, which is good, it lasts a really long time. Uh, longer than, for example, like an asphalt single, which we're used to from the East Coast, more uh, th those, those things. I mean, the roof is fine, but the tile tends to last a little longer. Three car garage and added bonus for a, for a house this size. Uh, I'm going to show you windows, and again, this may not mean a lot to you if you haven't seen a lot of the videos that I've taken. Um, but the windows in this house have been upgraded from single pane uh, aluminum frame to uh, double pane um, uh, vinyl, I believe. I'll have to take a look at them all, but that's a, that's a big upgrade. So um, I'll look at them from the inside. But I, I want to say, give or take, on all the windows in this house, that's a Call it 12 to 15 grand upgrade. I haven't done windows in a long time, like a whole house, but the last time I did a whole house, it was uh, it was about 12 grand. Okay, so I'm just gonna give, uh, come in here and show you around. So, uh, first off, you know that you come in in the Gencon area here, there's, uh, there's a nice tile floor, and that tile circles all the way around through that side onto uh, in, into the kitchen. Okay, um, there's carpeting over here. Look, I mean, that carpet's manageable, but it's old and kind of, what can I say? I mean, like, there's nothing to matter with it, but it's ugly and it's kind of yucky. So that might be something that we're going to look to up, update when we come in here. I think I might have told you when we get into uh, uh, a deal, when we're in contract, and then we do the inspection, I have the property manager come over and we do a walkthrough and we say, like, okay, we need to change this, we need to change that. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to go and say like, you could rent the house like this, but for what we're doing and trying to get as much, uh, juice and depreciation out as we can, uh, capitalize into the price, I would probably update the flooring. Okay. So I'm just taking you down into the living room here. And indeed, I'm just going to just show you one of these windows. Uh, I'll show you like an older window when I go to an older house, but you can see, um, through the, through the window covering here, just let me pull back. Sorry if it's kind of shaky, but that's double pane glass. That is uh, vinyl, and so that's a big upgrade from some of the stuff that you'll see in, in another place. So I'm going to call that like 12 to 15 grand in updates. Also, this thing has a new, uh, this thing has AC, and uh, I'll have to see how old that is. I didn't take a look at it. There's dogs in the backyard, but I will take a look. So um, window coverings on the windows, that's all good. This is all just little stuff that, that uh, will come up and whether you need to pay for that after the close of escrow or not, like when you're going, uh, getting ready to rent, but has window coverings, that's good. So you have a uh, um, fireplace here in the living room, nice. So we come through the living room here, this would be your formal, formal dining room. Uh, you can see they're already packing up to go, so that's good news, that means they wanna sell. Um, so then you go into the kitchen, and the kitchen, this is updated quartz countertop, almost uh, exactly the same stuff I have uh, in my house. You have this, uh, and this is a bit of an older style window. People love these things. Um, sometimes they leak up there. Um, I haven't had any problems with them recently, but people like these things. You can put stuff out there. Um, 
So it looks good. You can tell that that's an updated, uh, an upgraded uh, faucet. Fancy stuff. Uh, the the appliances are old, so I don't know. Again, that would go to the property manager on why you, you need to update those. I would keep them uh, until they fail and then update those later, but that's uh, that's up to you. They're a bit old. Um, the cabinets are two-tone blue with white. Uh, I don't love it, but somebody might. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back through here. I'm sure this is the pantry, so let's just look real quick. Yeah. Pantry in there. And then this is your living space over here. Uh, rec room, whatever you want to call it. they got a ginormous couch in here. Um... But, so this is connected off uh, off of the kitchen, so you have this nice big open space between this area and the um, and the dining room, and the uh, kitchen over there. I'm sorry, the dining room is through a separate separate doorway. Okay, uh, the dogs are barking in the backyard, so I'm just going to show you. It's not a huge backyard, but it's a decent sized backyard. We see a lot smaller. We don't see many bigger. When we see bigger, we usually like it. Um, but it's a good functional backyard. Looks in good shape. Let me just peek through here. I'm sure you probably saw through here on the uh, from the kitchen window before. So the fencing looks pretty good. I mean, the inspector will take a look at that. A lot of times the fencing is really in bad shape. That looks in pretty decent shape from what I can see from first glance here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take you upstairs. Oh, no, let's go in the garage first. So in through the garage, obviously they're getting ready to pack up and go. So um, what I want to show you is just a couple things here. So three car garage, as you can see, two on this side, one on that side. A lot of times you'll see built in stuff. Um, I, I don't see any of that here. So looks like uh, good to go. The laundry, as I told you, out here in the garage. The water heater is one thing we always look at, like how old and beat up it is uh, because these things are built to fail. I know in Japan we have the uh, the tankless uh, you remember these bad boys from Pennsylvania, so, um, that thing looks like it's in good shape still, but eventually, that thing's gonna fail, it's gonna leak there, and we have to replace it, that's the nature of the beast, okay, um, not sure what that thing is, man, looks like, uh, somewhere you can maybe pick up weed products or something, and I can't really climb in, I'm looking for the furnace, and I do not think it's out here. A lot of times we just like to look at what the what the furnace looks like. Um, it's probably up in the attic. I'm not going to be able to have access to it. But that's something that will come up during the inspection. How does the furnace look? How does the uh, how does the AC look? And is it ready to fail or is it in good shape? Okay. All right. And so this is the half bath downstairs. So, not much to see here. You probably need some, gonna need some paint in here. Um, I mean, the colors look okay, but there's a hodgepodge of colors in here. The general color looks okay uh, in the house. This is a little dark for my taste, so we'd see when all this stuff comes off of the walls. Uh, repainting the house, I don't know, three, four grand, something like that. Um, the flooring, I think, is what's gonna be your big expense in here. And like I said, we figure out that when, uh, when, we get into the escrow and do the inspection. So, yeah, I hate the carpet. So I'm sure Diana's going to say that has to go. Four bedrooms upstairs here. I'm not going to open that bedroom because they're asking us not to open it because there's cats in there. Um, but I'm assuming it's going to be very similar to this room here, which is just a closet and a bedroom. And that's it. Okay, so this is bedroom number two. So the bedroom in there probably just the same here. Um, again, whether we paint this room, we, nobody loves loves these colors, right? Normally, when we get in, we paint the house all one color, kind of a beigeish, and uh, and be done with it, um, or leave it if it's one color. If it's multiple colors like this, it's annoying. Um, that blue wall that would take uh, that'd be more expensive to paint that because it's. Uh, going to be a lighter color over darker color. You'll probably need closet doors there. Okay, uh, I'm just going to show you in here real quick. So this is the other bath, the, the second bathroom upstairs. Uh, we probably want to put shower doors in there. That's about 300 bucks or so, just because you don't want the shower curtain water leaking out, getting into that drywall. So whenever we're on the second floor, we always put shower doors in. 
I'm going to take you into the master. So, big master bedroom, fireplace over there, and then the master bath. The master bath is kind of small. Uh, again, we're in a 1,900 square foot house. Some of the houses we look at are 2,500 square feet, and you do have more space, and that's going to be more expensive. So, uh, for now, place looks, I mean, place looks good, place looks clean. You're going to need some updating, you're going to need some painting and, and stuff like that. I would say ballpark, uh, it depends on the HVAC, ballpark, uh, 10 to 15 grand to get this thing up and up to speed and, and uh, ready for rental and looking really good. So that's it. Got another one to see.